This video is sponsored by Car Vertical, but I'll tell you a little bit more about them later on. First up, this is what's coming up in this crazy episode. I went ahead and I fitted the rare electronic module. Let's see if we get ignition. So here are the two amplifiers for the Harman Kardon system. I connected the clocks right there. Oh, no ignition. So this is the brake pedal. That's right, it's phase three. Time to lay some M140 parts. Yes, cupboard. Guys, welcome back to the channel. I am surrounded by an ocean of parts everywhere. I can't even step properly. That can only mean one thing. It's phase three on Ricky's custom M140 build and it's gonna be spicy. In phase one on the build, we met Ricky. We got the project car, which is a 2013 114i. We got it all stripped. In phase two, I showed you how I went about sourcing all the parts that I'm gonna be needing to convert this car into an M140i. We got that parts car, we got it done. I stripped it, I showed you all of that. That was a very extensive process. Well, in phase three, we're moving on. We're gonna be laying everything into the project car and by the end of phase three, I want this car running. In phase four, we're gonna be moving on to the rear arches. We're gonna be molding in some M2 rear arches. So that's something to keep an eye out for in the future. If you wanna see how we get on with all of that, make sure you're subscribed, make sure your bells are on. At the end of phase two, I sourced all of these parts that I need. I've got heater matrix hair, steering wheel hair. Look at that B58 lump. I've got a ZF automatic gearbox, suspension, plastics, everything, and we've gotta lay it in this car. By the end of this episode, I wanna have the wiring loom laid and fitted, and hopefully by the end of it, I should be able to use the key that came with the breaker car, which is the M140, to operate this car, which was the 114i, and we're actually gonna get that 140 essence coursing through its veins. So stay tuned, watch the video to the end, it's gonna be spicy, let go. Guys, hold on. I need to tell you about today's sponsors, Car Vertical. Anytime I buy a used or salvaged car, I always get a vehicle history check with Car Vertical. Just last year, I purchased a Nissan Juke from an online auction website, and when the car came, it was actually a double cap. And let's just say it was not easy to sell that car. When you're putting down your hard earned money, you need to make sure that what you're seeing is what you're getting. And to do that, you need to get a vehicle history check from Car Vertical. You're gonna get to see everything you need to know about a potential buy in one single report. You get to see the mileage history. You get to double check if the car's been stolen in over 30 countries. And most importantly, you get to see all the photos of any potential damage that the car may have had in its history that may not be present when you're actually going to pick up your new car. And if you wanna safeguard your purchase, click the link down below, use discount code SN20, and you're gonna get 20% off your next vehicle history check from Car Vertical. But if you've got another vehicle that you wanna check, use SN20 again. You're gonna get 20% off each vehicle check from Car Vertical, thanks to Salvage Nation. Now with all of that said, there's a ton of work that needs to go on with Ricky's car, so let's continue the video. So guys, you've seen in a previous episode, I went ahead and stripped all of this rear area. I went inside on the interior, I stripped out the entire carpets, wiring looms, dashboard, heater matrix, everything there is all gone. Well, now that has cleared the canvas to lay the M140 wiring loom. The reason I need to do all of this work is because the M140 wiring loom on the engine side of things, it doesn't disconnect from the main wiring loom, so that's what we're gonna do. And this is also gonna upgrade all the modules on the internals of this car and bring it up to a 2017-2018 spec M140. This is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna start in the rear, make my way forward. This is the first step of putting in that M140 essence into Ricky's 114i. So let's get started. So guys, this is the money shot. It's time for that M140 wiring loom to get laid into the 114i shell. And this is where the actual transformation begins. Now guys, if you have not seen the last episode, go check it out. I showed you how I got my donor car, how I got all the parts, and that episode was key to this build because I had to remove everything without damaging any of the components, and this is the reason why. I need to fit them all back into the shell.
Alright you guys, I've just stopped for a little breather, but a lot of work has been done. Check this all out, it's mad! I went ahead and I fitted the rare electronic module. I ran all the wires. Now you can see how all the wires was all messed up. I guess it had a little bit of a entanglement. <laughs> no pun intended, but anyway, I went ahead, I got that all situated. Everything here is on, everything is all connected to the REM like I said. These are a bunch of earth points, they're all connected. This is all ran down here, this is the rare fuse box and this is the telecommunications module but I'm not going to fit that in because it's got some oil and stuff there so I'm going to give that a clean and then I can clip that all down. On this side I went ahead and I fitted the Harman Kardon. Remember this car didn't have Harman Kardon but it all lines up exactly the same. Like I said, BMW are not stupid. The chassis are all the same. So here are the two amplifiers for the Harman Kardon system. All the wiring on this side has gone in. As you can see, I clipped that side in. Everything there is all clipped in. These are the little amplifiers for the antennas on the rear of the car. And you can see if you follow this wire, it goes up to the shark fin antenna. So it comes from the antenna and it goes into this box. It gets amplified and it goes to where it needs to go to. I went ahead and I laid all the wiring on the floor. This is the body control box that's been installed. I installed all the connections for the doors. And as you can see here, those are the looms that goes to the engine on that side. Those are the looms over there that goes to all the fans, radiators, sensors, etc., etc. And then finally, that's the fuse box wires. I went ahead and I pushed those through, but you can see I've loosely fitted in the entire wiring loom on this car. And what I'm gonna do now is I want to install the front fuse box and then I need to install this heater matrix because I want to see if it's all working. Once that's in, guys, this is it. This is where we're going to see if the transplant has worked. So with all of that in, I can connect the battery, connect the clocks. I've got two sets of clocks that I want to try. The M140 breaker clocks and then Ricky got a set of M2 clocks. I can fit the M2 clocks and we'll just need to cold it. But I just want to see what's the difference between the two because the two units looks exactly the same. So yeah, as you can see, everything is in. Let's go ahead. I'm going to buckle down everything and get the heater matrix unit in and then we can connect everything to some power. Oh, guys, is it all going to work or is the car just going to catch a fire? Boom, this is it. Let's go. Finally, in preparation for all of that, I'm going to swap this pre-LCI boot for the LCI boot. That's because I've got the LCI lights installed on both sides now and I don't want to damage them. And also, once I test everything, I want to see if these lights are actually working. They should work because I'm using all the modules from the breaker M140. If I wasn't using the modules, they will require some coding and wiring or rewiring, but these should work. So let's get all of this done and test the car. So I'm just fitting the LCI tailgate. A lot of you guys always ask, if you want to do a retrofit on the rear end, you need to change the rear lights, tailgate, and the wiring. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. With the tailgate in place, wiring in place, I'm moving on to the front where I'm going to fit the wiring that needs to go in before I fit the M140 brake booster and the M140 front fuse box. Have a look at everything is in, and I'm just going to make sure that all the wiring and those rubber grommets are tucked into place. So you saw I went ahead and I fitted the front fuse box. I ran ahead and I threaded through. This is the actual engine wiring loom. This is all part of the main wiring loom. So this is what we're doing all of this for. I went ahead and I fitted the brake booster from the M140. This is the power distribution box from the 140. I fitted all of that, but Check this out. Remember, we're swapping this from manual to automatic as well. Now look at these. These are the pedals from the manual car. And this is why you need a breaker when it's such a big conversion because you just need so many bits. So this is the brake pedal from the M140. As you can see, it's only got one pedal, which is for brakes. So this is gonna go right here and it connects to, this is the internals of the brake booster. So you press the brakes here, it presses the brake booster and that applies the pressure to the hydraulic, etc., etc. The acceleration pedal on both cars are the same. This car has got an electronic acceleration pedal, so that's different. But now I'm about to fit this and this is one, like I said, that's why I wanted to show you. This is one of the most important. Next to obviously swapping out the transmission mission this is one of the most important bits that you need to fit because we're swapping it from a manual to an auto so i just wanted to show you that i'm going to put you on a time lapse now and i'm going to go ahead and fit everything here and get the matrix in now, as this car is a manual, there's a big gaping hole where the gear stick used to be. From the M140 shell, there's just a plastic grommet that plugs that hole and that's what I just put in.
So there you have it, new brake pedal has been fitted, wiring loom has been fitted, and the carpet has been replaced, and all the major components have been fitted. Amazing stuff. All right, you guys, so as you can see, heater matrix unit. I went ahead, I wired up everything. I connected the clocks right there. Everything on this front of the car is all good. I got my guy, Akil, there. He's waiting. Akil, do you think he's gonna burn? Guys, if you're OG on the channel, you've been here before, but if you're new to the channel, this is it. This is what all the hard work in this episode and all the other episodes before this was all about. I've gone ahead and I've connected up all of the battery junctions barring the negative. This is the fuse box. I still need to clean that, but I'll do that tomorrow. Fuse box is all connected. This is it. Right, guys, let's connect it. And hopefully, hopefully it all works. I hear clicking. Clicking is good. I feel like I've said that before. Okay, and you're seeing this for the first time, like me. I can see some signs of life. Ah, oh, yes, bonnet open. So let's see if we're gonna get any ignition. Oh, no ignition. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm jumping the gun. I just realized the key f that came with this car is in the car right now. I've just transferred everything over. I need to get the breaker key. Hold the remote to the steering wheel. Yeah, it's not receiving the key. Hold on, hold on. So this is the key that came with the breaker. I don't know if you can hear that. When I press it, I'm hearing clicking. But I know I haven't got the sensors for the keyless entry connected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put you guys down. Excuse the bad camera angle. I need to put the key here. Let's see if we get ignition. Oh, hey, come on. Guys, take a look at that. Have a look at that. And these are the M2 clocks. Obviously, they need cold in. Um, but it's working, it's come on. You've got ignition. Let's go see what the back is saying. Because if you've got ignition, these, yep. Yes. Come on. Guys. LCI lights working, everything is working on the back. Man, I am happy. I am happy. Have a look at that. Guys, come on. As you can see, all the hard work is paying off. We've now got ignition in Ricky's M140, M2, whatever it's called. This beast is alive with a bit of M140 essence. It's a long old day. Oh, Macken, but it's worth it. It is worth it. So guys, now that I'm not so gassed up, and I'm a bit calmer. I just want to do a few checks. So central locking is working. We saw the lights are working, but I've just seen an issue. This is not working. I don't know if it just needs some coding. Tons of stuff that's loose. There's a ton of stuff that's not plugged in. So I'm not getting, it's not panic stations yet. Um, yeah, that's all grounded off, is it? Yeah, all grounded off all right up there. And this is the main plug. I've plugged in that and I've plugged it into the REM. The lights are working, so it's definitely getting power there. Um, but this is off the breaker car, so we don't know if it was working. I didn't check it before. I manually locked it, so when I press this button here, it should go ping and unlock, but it's not. But that's the least of my worries. I can sort that out. I'm sure it's not anything too major. I think I need to put the ignition on. I wanna check the windows. Yeah, none of that is. I just heard something. Oh yeah, I think the windows need to be normalized. Ah, spot on. So, and that's with the remote key. So the windows are working. Happy days. Final thing I wanna check is, let's get one of these on. If the rear ones are working, these should work and they shouldn't need much coding because these are LEDs as well. Nah, no headlights. I'm pretty sure they're gonna need coding. Nothing. I thought I'll still get a little something. They are LEDs. Even though it's a different shape from a different car, they are LEDs, so it's the same technology as what was on the breaker car, so it should work. Hmm, interesting. So guys, strange, I've just plugged this side in, and it's working, all of them. Angel eyes, main beam, everything's working on that side. But on this side, nothing is working. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna head home, man. I'm gonna head home, I'm getting, I'm getting besides myself. So guys, we made major, major progress on this build. It is just mad. Today was a special day. I hope you enjoyed it, but we're not done. It's about 7 p.m. I'm gonna head home and then I'll come back in the morning and we're gonna finish off the rear, get both carpets in, make sure that everything's nice and clean and then I'll stick it on the diagnostic to see exactly what's going on with the boot and the lights, etc., etc. I wanna get this electrical system 110%, so I'll see you in the morning.
Okay, right, guys, so it's the next morning here. I came in, I done some diagnosing on the car. I done a little bit of coding on the headlights. I got the headlights working now, so that's all good. I'm gonna jack the car up. I'm gonna prep this area with all the ancillaries for this B58 engine, because in the next episode, I wanna put this engine in this car and I wanna have it running. But for now, let's go ahead, prep this area. I need to remove all of the brake lines, fit the new brake lines, etc., etc. Check it out. So first up, I thought I got the headlights to be fully working, but they're actually not. I've got a problem with the headlights, but you'll find out a bit more about that later on. What I'm doing now is I'm removing the brake lines from the 114i, and I'm gonna be fitting the uprated brake lines, brake booster like I showed you before, and also the ABS pump from the M140. Now pay close attention, this is the fueling line that's on the left of the car, but on the M140, the fuel line and the brake lines, they're all located on the right side of the car, so that's another change that I'm making. But as you can see here, all the brake lines from the breaker M140 has now been fitted, and it's all slotted together exactly the same as the original brake lines from the 114i when I took them out. Now this is a super important bit. The fuel cell on both cars are exactly the same. However, the fuel pump or the internals of the fuel cell are different between the 140i and the 114i. So instead of disassembling everything, I've removed the 114i fuel cell and I'll just replace it with the M140i fuel cell with all the internals complete. And there you have it. This car is now running all M140 standard components. The brake lines, the fuel lines, the fuel cell, and some other little small ancillaries which I'll explain later on. With all of that done, I'm gonna transform the engine bay by fitting the M140 ECUs, M140 coolant pipes, M140 AC pipes. Oh man, basically it's gonna be an M140. Now I saw someone asking in the comments, here I am drilling the two additional holes, that's it. The suspension has got the same bolt pattern, it's just a matter of drilling two additional holes. With the ancillaries fitted, I'm moving on to the next important step in the engine bay. Now on the M140, this is where you'd find the auxiliary water pump. However, the 114i does not run that water pump, but the chassis has actually got two vacant holes. Like I said, they're the same chassis. I fitted two rivnuts, nuts, and there's me fitting the bracket and the water pump, and there you have it. Water pump in place as it would normally be on a 140. So guys, there you have it. In this episode, we done a ton of work. We got the entire wiring loom fitted. We went ahead and we fitted all the fueling, the brakes, the M140 fuel cell went in. And in the next episode, this B58 powerhouse is getting into this car. So make sure you're here to see that. This is where we're gonna wrap up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Make sure your bells are on. Like I said, in the next episode, we potentially could be driving this car. You never know. But if you wanna see how it goes, stick around. And this is where we're gonna head off. So like I always say, guys, keep it moving. Come on, we kept it moving in this episode. I'll see you in the next one. He's giving it to Bellingham and Bellingham has scored. His 11th league goal of the season. Guys, the engine is in the car. Don't forget, I'm raffling my 2020 Stage 2 380 brake Mercedes A35 AMG. One of you guys can own this car for as little as £2.50. Scan the QR code or click the link down below. Time's running out.